Lesson One. Greetings. Basic patterns. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? Not bad. What's up? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to see you again. I'm surprised to see you here. Long time no see. How have you been? Hi there. How are things with you? What's going on with you? What are you doing here? Hey. Dialogue one. Good morning. Good morning to you too. Do you think it will rain today? Yeah, maybe. It's hard to tell. I hope not. I am going to the beach this afternoon. Maybe you should check the weather forecast first. Good idea. I think I will. Well, I hope you have a good afternoon. You too, Frank. Dialogue two. Hello. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? Not bad. Work is going well. Oh, is it? That's good to hear. What about you? I'm doing okay, although my car is in the shop. Oh, really? That's too bad. Dialogue three. Hi, Ralph. Oh, hey, Mark. Did you have a good time hiking today? Yes, although it was a bit hot. That is why I stayed inside. What did you do? I read a book. Dialogue four. What's up, Andrew? Not much. Not much at all. Are you hungry? A little bit. Do you want to eat? Yes. Let's go find something to eat. That sounds good to me. Dialogue five. Good afternoon. Is Doctor Colbin? Yes, but he is busy. Do you mind waiting? I don't mind. Do you think he will be a while? He shouldn't be long. Oh, good. I'll wait. Just take a seat over there. He should see you shortly. Substitution drills. One. Do you think it will rain today? Do you think it will rain tomorrow? Do you think it will rain tonight? Do you think it will rain this afternoon? Two. Hello, Bill. Good afternoon, Bill. Good morning, Bill. Good evening, Bill. Three. Did you have a good time hiking today? Did you have a good time reading today? Did you have a good time walking today? Did you have a good time swimming today? Four. Is Doctor Kolb in? Is Doctor Kolb available? Is Doctor Kolb here? Is Doctor Kolb around? Five. It's hard to tell. It's tough to tell. It's difficult to tell. It's not easy to tell. Six. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hello, Mark. Oh, good morning, Mark. Seven. Yes, although it was a bit hot. Yes, although it was a bit cold. Yes, although it was a bit wet. Yes, although it was a bit cloudy. Eight. I read a book. I read a magazine. I read a story. I read a poem.
Nine. I am going to the beach this afternoon. I am going to the park this afternoon. I am going to the library this afternoon. I am going to the store this afternoon. Ten. That is why I stayed inside. That is why I stayed indoors. That is why I stayed in the shade. That is why I stayed in. Eleven. How are you doing? How are things? How are you feeling? How are you? Twelve. It's hard to tell. It's hard to know. It's hard to say. It's hard to be sure. Thirteen. I'm doing okay, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing well, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing good, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing fine, although my car is in the shop. Fourteen. I'm doing okay, although my car is in the shop. I'm doing okay, although my bike is in the shop. I'm doing okay, although my boat is in the shop. I'm doing okay, although my guitar is in the shop. Fifteen. Maybe you should check the weather forecast first. Maybe you should watch the weather forecast first. Maybe you should listen to the weather forecast first. Maybe you should see the weather forecast first. Monologue. Bill was not having a good day because his car was in the shop. A shop can mean a store, but it originally meant a place to make or repair things. In that sense, Bill means his car is being repaired. It can be difficult to not have a car in America for many people. In large cities, it is not so important to have a car. In cities, public transportation, such as buses, is available for people to use. In fact, many city people prefer not to have a car. Outside the city, though, having a car is often necessary for many jobs and routine tasks. Buying food, going to the library, or seeing friends are often difficult to do without a car. Automobiles are an important part of American life. Lesson two, introductions, basic patterns. Hi, I'm Marvin. My name is Robert. You can call me Beth. Are you Tina? Yes, I am. Meet my friend. This is my brother Thomas. Come say hi to my parents. Have you met my sister? Have we met before? Do I know you? I'm new around here. Let me introduce myself. Do I know you? I'd like to introduce you to my boss. Dialogue One. Hi, I'm Marvin. Marvin, my name is Robert. I'm here to play baseball. Good. We need more people to play. I'm not very good. That doesn't matter. We're just here for fun. Dialogue Two. I'm Amy, and you are. My name is Elizabeth. You can call me Beth. Oh, that is my mother's name. Really? I'm named after my grandmother. Actually, Amy is not my real name. It's Amanda. Why do you go by Amy? I don't know. Ever since I was young, that is what people have called me. That's interesting.
Dialogue 3. Good morning. I'm looking for Dr. Kolb's office. I'm Dr. Kolb. How can I help you? I'm Dave Fowler. My stomach has been hurting. Is it an emergency? Oh, no. It's not that bad. I just need to make an appointment. Please talk to my secretary over there. Thank you, doctor. I will. I'll see you soon. Dialogue 4 Hello, I'm Hugh. What can I do for you? Yes, I'm Bill Paxton. I left my car here last week. Is it repaired? Yes, sir. It is, Mr. Paxton. Can you sign your name here? No problem. Okay. It's around back. I will bring it up front. Thanks. What's the damage? To the car? No, I mean, what is the cost? I'll have to check with the mechanic. I'll be right here. Dialogue 5 Hi there. Are you Tina? Yes, I am. How did you know my name? I'm friends with your roommate, Bob. Oh, I didn't catch your name. Yeah, I'm sorry. My name is Tony. Pleased to meet you, Tony. Same here. Substitution drills 1 my name is Robert. My name is Sarah. My name is Henry. My name is Ramon. 2. I just need to make an appointment. I just need to set up an appointment. I just need to schedule an appointment. I just need to arrange an appointment. 3. Good. We need more people to play. Good. We need more guys to play. Good. We need more women to play. Good. We need more persons to play. 4. Good. We need more people to play. Great. We need more people to play. Excellent. We need more people to play. Awesome. We need more people to play. 5. We're just here for fun. We're just here for pleasure. We're just here for enjoyment. We're just here for recreation. 6. I'm not very good. I'm not very skillful. I'm not very talented. I'm not very experienced. 7. Oh, that is my mother's name. Oh, that is my aunt's name. Oh, that is my sister's name. Oh, that is my grandmother's name. 8. Ever since I was young, that is what people have called me. Ever since I was little, that is what people have called me. Ever since I was small, that is what people have called me. Ever since I was a child, that is what people have called me. 9. Is it an emergency? Is it urgent? Is it serious? Is it critical? 10. Oh, I didn't catch your name. Oh, I didn't get your name. Oh, I didn't hear your name. Oh, I didn't recognize your name. 11. I'm friends with Bob your roommate. I'm friends with Bob, your boss. I'm friends with Bob, your boyfriend. I'm friends with Bob, your brother. 12. My stomach has been hurting. My chest has been hurting. 
My arm has been hurting. My head has been hurting. 13. No, I mean, what is the cost? No, I mean, what is the expense? No, I mean, what is the price? No, I mean, what is the total? 14. I'm here to play baseball. I'm here to play basketball. I'm here to play football. I'm here to play soccer. 15. I'll see you soon. I'll see you later. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you next week. Monologue Sports are very popular for Americans to play and to watch. Americans of all ages enjoy a variety of sports. Some were created in America. Baseball, for example, is considered the traditional American sport. Basketball may be even more popular. Both sports are becoming popular in other countries. Other sports come from outside America. Hockey is popular in the Northeast, but was created in Canada. Soccer is the American name for what the rest of the world calls football. What Americans call football is a very different kind of game. It is rough and often involves injuries. Many Americans take sports very seriously and enjoy competing with each other. Some think winning is important. But others think it is more important to just have fun. Lesson 3 Gratitude Basic Patterns Thanks. Thank you. Don't mention it. You're welcome. I really appreciate this. Thanks for your help. Is there some way I can repay you for this? This is a big favor. You've been a big help. I can't express how grateful I am. I'm much obliged. You don't know how much this means to me. You're too kind. Thank you for everything you've done. I'm indebted to you. Dialogue 1 Eric, did you finish the report? Yes, it's right here, Mark. Thanks. No problem. Were there any difficulties for you? It was tough to get it done promptly, but it was not too bad. That's good to hear. Keep up the good work. Dialogue 2. I thought you might like this book. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is great. Don't mention it. No, this is great. This is just what I wanted. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. She is my favorite author. I'm glad you like it. Dialogue 3. You do fine work here. Oh, I just try to do my part. No, you do better than that, and we appreciate it. Really? I'm embarrassed. Don't be. As a sign of our gratitude, you're the new manager. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Louis. Dialogue 4. I couldn't have finished this race without you and Mark encouraging me. Let me know if you need any more help later. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate this. Thanks a million, Megan. What are friends for? Besides, Mark did most of the cheering. Yes, but I thank you anyway. I know you do the same for me, so don't mention it. And thank Mark for me as well. I'll give him your thanks.
Dialogue 5. Can I help you? You seem lost. Yeah, actually I am. Where are you trying to go? I'm trying to find Clay Street. Do you know where it is? Yes, it's about two blocks up and then go left. You'll see it. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. Good luck. Substitution drills. 1. Eric, did you finish the report? Eric, did you finish the assignment? Eric, did you finish the thesis? Eric, did you finish the exercise? 2. Yes, it's about two blocks up and then go left. Yes, it's about two blocks up and then go right. Yes, it's about two blocks up and then go forward. Yes, it's about two blocks up and then go straight. 3. I'm trying to find Clay Street. I'm trying to find Clay Avenue. I'm trying to find Clay Boulevard. I'm trying to find Clay Road. 4. I'll give him your thanks. I'll give him your regards. I'll give him your message. I'll give him your comments. 5. As a sign of our gratitude, you're the new manager. As a sign of our appreciation, you're the new manager. As a sign of our regard, you're the new manager. As a sign of our trust, you're the new manager. 6. Yes, it's about two blocks up and then go left. Yes, it's about two kilometers up and then go left. Yes, it's about two miles up and then go left. Yes, it's about two houses up and then go left. 7. I thought you might like this book. I thought you might like this CD. I thought you might like this gift. I thought you might like this toy. 8. It was tough to get it done promptly, but it was not too bad. It was tough to get it done on time, but it was not too bad. It was tough to get it done quickly, but it was not too bad. It was tough to get it done rapidly, but it was not too bad. 9. It was tough to get it done promptly, but it was not too bad. It was difficult to get it done promptly, but it was not too bad. It was challenging to get it done promptly, but it was not too bad. It was demanding to get it done promptly, but it was not too bad. 10. Besides, Mark did most of the cheering. Besides, Mark did most of the clapping. Besides, Mark did most of the yelling. Besides, Mark did most of the encouraging. 11. She is my favorite author. She is my favorite writer. 
She is my favorite novelist. She is my favorite poet. Twelve. Were there any difficulties for you? Were there any problems for you? Were there any complications for you? Were there any obstacles for you? Thirteen. This is just what I wanted. This is just what I needed. This is just what I desired. This is just what I required. Fourteen. I'm glad you like it. I'm happy you like it. I'm pleased you like it. I'm satisfied you like it. Fifteen. I couldn't have finished this race without you and Mark encouraging me. I couldn't have finished this competition without you and Mark encouraging me. I couldn't have finished this contest without you and Mark encouraging me. I couldn't have finished this event without you and Mark encouraging me. Monologue. Jessica was very grateful because Steve gave her a book written by her favorite author. Many Americans enjoy reading. Although few have read the English books found in Chinese bookstores, those books are considered classics, but are not always popular with modern readers. Educated people have read them, but many people enjoy modern novels and self-help books. Self-help books are very popular in America. They are normally books about different ways to improve your life. Other books are about history, hobbies, food. Travel and other topics, just like in Chinese bookstores. Large bookstores even have a few books in Chinese, usually Chinese classics. In the biggest cities, there are even bookstores with only Chinese books and newspapers. Lesson four: Apologies. Basic patterns. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for criticizing you. It doesn't matter. I really regret going to the movies last week. I wish I hadn't said that at the party. I'm sorry I was late for class today. You can blame me for this. I'll take the blame. Can you forgive me? Please accept my apology. Can I make this up to you? How can I apologize to you? This is all my fault. Dialogue one. I'm sorry I was late for class today. This is the third day this month you've been late. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Do you mind telling me why? Is there something wrong? There's a lot of traffic in the mornings. That's no excuse. You need to give yourself more time to get here. You're right, sir. I won't be late again. I hope not. See you tomorrow, bright and early. Dialogue two. I thought you said you could finish this report by Tuesday. I apologize. What can I say? You almost cost me my job. You were a week late with this project. Look, I'm sorry. What more do you want? Do you even have an excuse? It took more research than I first thought. You could have told me earlier. I am really sorry. I really messed up. I'll try to make this up to you. 
Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Dialogue 3 Kim, where were you today? You missed class. I'm sorry. I was feeling ill. You didn't miss much. It was pretty boring. Yes, but I already missed class last week to go to the movies. Oh, you might miss too many classes this semester. I know. I really regret going to the movies last week. I bet you weren't so sorry then. Maybe not then, but I sure am now. Dialogue 4 I'm sorry about that last pass. Yeah, that was a pretty bad throw. I think I need a rest. Is something wrong? Are you hurt? I hurt my shoulder yesterday. Well, you shouldn't be playing ball. You're probably right. Hey, I'm sorry for criticizing you. I didn't know you were hurt. It doesn't matter. No problem. I'll be as good as new in no time. I hope so. Dialogue 5 Debbie, have you seen my blue shirt? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to pick up your shirt from the cleaners yesterday. Well, now I've got nothing to wear to work. I'm really sorry. I think you've still got the white shirt. I wore that Tuesday. It's pretty wrinkled. Well, I'll just iron it for you real quick. Thanks. It's the least I can do after forgetting your shirt earlier. Don't worry about that now, honey. At least I've got the white shirt. Substitution drills. 1. I'm sorry I was late for class today. I'm sorry I was late for work today. I'm sorry I was late for school today. I'm sorry I was late for practice today. 2. See you tomorrow, bright and early. See you tomorrow in the morning. See you tomorrow at sunrise. See you tomorrow early. 3. This is the third day this month you've been late. This is the third day this week you've been late. This is the third day this year you've been late. This is the third day this semester you've been late. 4. Do you even have an excuse? Do you even have a reason? Do you even have an explanation? Do you even have an alibi? 5. It took more research than I first thought. It took more planning than I first thought. It took more preparation than I first thought. It took more effort than I first thought. 6. Okay, I'll give you one more chance. Okay, I'll give you one more shot. Okay, I'll give you one more opportunity. Okay, I'll give you one more break. 7. I really messed up. I really made a mistake. I really erred. I really miscalculated. 8. I was feeling ill. I was feeling not well. I was feeling sick. I was feeling unpleasant. 9. It was pretty boring. It was pretty dull. It was pretty uninteresting. It was pretty tedious. 10. I'll be as good as new in no time. I'll be back to normal in no time. I'll be fine in no time. I'll be recovered in no time. 11. Yeah, 
Actually, I hurt my shoulder yesterday. Yeah. Actually, I injured my shoulder yesterday. Yeah. Actually, I damaged my shoulder yesterday. Yeah. Actually, I tore my shoulder yesterday. 12. Well, now I've got nothing to wear to work. Well, now I've got nothing to put on for work. Well, now I've got nothing to dress for work. Well, now I've got nothing to throw on for work. 13. I forgot to pick up your shirt. From the cleaners yesterday. I forgot to get your shirt from the cleaners yesterday. I forgot to grab your shirt from the cleaners yesterday. I forgot to take your shirt from the cleaners yesterday. 14. It's pretty wrinkled. It's pretty dirty. It's pretty stained. It's pretty soiled. 15. Yes, but I already missed class last week to go to the movies. Yes, but I already skipped class last week to go to the movies. Yes, but I already avoided class last week to go to the movies. Yes, but I already ducked class last week to go to the movies. Monologue Americans put a fairly high value on time. People often eat breakfast while driving to work. Midday naps during the week are usually only for retired people. People expect appointments to be kept. They expect plenty of notice about upcoming demands on their time. Being late or making changes with little notice is acceptable, but some explanation is normally expected. Many Americans have begun to realize that this concern with time creates stress. However, this realization does little to change most people's habits. In general, Americans believe in the saying that time is money. When time is lost, the belief is that money is also lost. Both time and money are often very important in America. Lesson 5 Departure and Farewell Basic Patterns I have to get going. See you later. See you. I should go now. Goodbye. I'll talk to you later. I've got to get going. I'd better run. I'll see you around. I'll catch you later. Until we meet again. Keep in touch. We should meet again. It was nice meeting you. Take care. Dialogue 1 I have to get going. My wife is waiting. Oh, come on. Have one more beer. Sorry. You know how she gets if I keep her waiting. Are you going out tonight? Yes. We are going to see her parents. You'll miss the game. Yeah, I know. Look, I've got to get out of here. Okay, buddy. See you later. See you. Dialogue 2 Mom, it looks like my flight is boarding. Yes, I guess it is. I should go now. I can't believe you're really going to college. Neither can I. I'll call you when I land. Yes, please do that. I want to know you're safe. Don't worry so much. I have to go. I love you. I love you too. Bye, dear. Bye, Mom. Dialogue 
Did you lock the store up? Sure did. I swept the floor, too. Good. This was a pretty busy day, wasn't it? Sure was. I'll be here bright and early tomorrow. Sounds good, Peter. See you then. Have a good night, boss. You too, Peter. Dialogue 4 It's been a fun year at school. It sure has. Where are you going for the summer? Probably back with my parents. What about you? I have a job with a lawyer in Boston. I'll just spend the summer in my dad's office. You should come visit me then when you have time. That would be nice. I think I will. Well, I'd better go. Give me a hug. Keep in touch. I will. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Dialogue 5 That was a good movie. It really was. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you asked me. Do you want to do this again sometime? That would be nice. When? Maybe next Saturday. Is that good for you? I think so. Why don't you give me a call? All right. Well, I'd better go. I had a good time. Me too. Bye now. Bye-bye. Substitution Drills 1. I have to get going. I have to go. I have to leave. I have to run. 2. My wife is waiting. My husband is waiting. My brother is waiting. My girlfriend is waiting. 3. Oh, come on, have one more beer. Oh, come on, have one more drink. Oh, come on, have one more glass. Oh, come on, have one more round. 4. Are you going out tonight? Are you going out tomorrow? Are you going out today? Are you going out later? 5. Mom, it looks like my flight is boarding. Mom, it looks like my flight is arriving. Mom, it looks like my flight is ready. Mom, it looks like my flight is here. 6. I can't believe you're really going to college. I can't believe you're really going to medical school. I can't believe you're really going to law school. I can't believe you're really going to graduate school. 7. I'll call you when I land. I'll call you when I arrive. I'll call you when I get there. I'll call you when I reach my destination. 8. I want to know you're safe. I want to know you're okay. I want to know you're all right. I want to know you're safe and sound. 9. I swept the floor, too. I mopped the floor, too. I cleaned the floor, too. I scrubbed the floor, too. 10. I have a job with a lawyer in Boston. I have a job with a dentist in Boston. I have a job with a doctor in Boston. I have a job with an accountant in Boston. 11. I'll just spend the summer in my dad's office. I'll just spend the spring in my dad's office. I'll just spend the winter in my dad's office. I'll just spend the fall in my dad's office. 12. You should come visit me then when you have time. You should come find me then 
when you have time. You should come see me then when you have time. You should come get me then when you have time. 13. I'll call you when I land. I'll phone you when I land. I'll ring you when I land. I'll telephone you when I land. 14. That was a good movie. That was a good play. That was a good performance. That was a good game. 15. Maybe next Saturday. Maybe next Tuesday. Maybe next Friday. Maybe next Wednesday. Monologue. Kelly is saying goodbye to her mom because she is going to college. She is flying on an airplane. Like many American students, she is going far from home for college. American college students often have a lot of independence, especially when they go far from home for school. Sometimes they only come home during the school year for Christmas break. The American school year normally lasts from September to May. Beth and Anne have finished a year of college. Beth is going back to her parents for the summer. Some college students do this, often in order to save money. Other students, like Anne, go to work in cities far away. This experience can help them prepare for their careers after college. Lesson 6 Likes and Dislikes Basic Patterns I don't feel like cooking. I like Chinese food. I love dogs. I don't like him. Do you like football? I hate the Yankees. I'm crazy about pizza. I'm craving something to eat. I don't care for your opinion. I care about you a great deal. I loathe the sight of you. I'm fond of Italian music. He doesn't find his job very appealing. She's attracted to fast cars. I can't stand these people. Dialogue 1 I'm hungry, but I don't feel like cooking. Do you just want to order some food? Sounds good to me. What do you want? I don't know. Maybe Mexican food? I don't really like Mexican food. It is too spicy. How about Chinese? Sure. I like Chinese food. Let's call that Chinese restaurant. Great. I'll get the menu. Dialogue 2 Oh, look at that puppy. I didn't know you liked dogs. Are you kidding? I adore dogs. Did you have a dog when you were growing up? Always. We always had dogs in my family. My mom was allergic to dogs, so we never had any. That's too bad. I love dogs. Dialogue 3 Do you like football? I've got an extra ticket to the Ravens game. Of course. I love football. I know a guy who gets these tickets from his job. How does he do that? His boss knows a player on the team. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. Dialogue 4 That's a nice pen. Thanks. It was a gift from my father. It looks like an antique. It's been in my family for a long time. An heirloom? I guess you could say that. I've always cherished it. Dialogue 5 What do you think of that new guy? Do you mean Tony? 
Yeah, that guy from Manchester. I don't like him. Why is that? He just says a lot of stupid things. I guess he is pretty obnoxious. Let's not invite him out with us tonight. If you say so, but I hope he doesn't find out. Maybe we can avoid him. Substitution drills. One. I don't really like Mexican food. I dislike Mexican food. I hate Mexican food. I detest Mexican food. Two. It is too spicy. It is too hot. It is too rich. It is too bland. Three. Let's call that Chinese restaurant. Let's call that Thai restaurant. Let's call that Italian restaurant. Let's call that German restaurant. Four. Are you kidding? Are you joking? Are you serious? Are you for real? Five. I adore dogs. I adore cats. I adore horses. I adore pigs. Six. Did you have a dog when you were growing up? Did you have a dog when you were little? Did you have a dog when you were small? Did you have a dog when you were a child? Seven. We always had dogs in my family. We constantly had dogs in my family. We occasionally had dogs in my family. We never had dogs in my family. Eight. I've got an extra ticket to the Ravens game. I've got an extra ticket to the Bears game. I've got an extra ticket to the Redskins game. I've got an extra ticket to the Giants game. Nine. That's a nice pen. That's a nice pencil. That's a nice watch. That's a nice necklace. Ten. That's a nice pen. That's a good pen. That's a pretty pen. That's a valuable pen. Eleven. I've always cherished it. I've always esteemed it. I've always prized it. I've always valued it. Twelve. I guess he is pretty obnoxious. I guess he is pretty annoying. I guess he is pretty bothersome. I guess he is pretty irritating. Thirteen. His boss knows a player on the team. His employer knows a player on the team. His supervisor knows a player on the team. His coworker knows a player on the team. Fourteen. He just says a lot of stupid things. He just says a lot of dumb things. He just says a lot of ridiculous things. He just says a lot of ignorant things. Fifteen. Let's not invite him out with us tonight. Let's not ask him out with us tonight. Let's not request him out with us tonight. Let's not bring him out with us tonight. Monologue. Tim and Alice are ordering their food to be delivered for dinner. In America, this is very common. Many restaurants have delivery service. A person can just call them on the telephone and place their order. Sometimes 
they have to come in and pick up the food, but often the restaurant can send one of their employees out to deliver the food. Pizza and Chinese food are the two most popular delivered foods. Sandwiches are also popular to be delivered. It is customary to tip the delivery person, give them a dollar or two, when paying for the food. If the delivery is late, there is no need to give a tip. Lesson 7 Hopes and Desires Basic Patterns I hope we win the tournament this year. I hope so too. What do you want for Christmas this year? I wish it would stop raining. I was thinking about going to that new place. I want to be a doctor. I trust that all will be well. I believe things will get better. I could really use a drink right now. I hope she feels better. Their only desire is for a new home. He's the best hope for the team. I keep hoping that things will get better. I have to have that car. I need to be alone. Dialogue 1 I hope we win the tournament this year. I hope so, too. We've been practicing hard. Yes, we have. And there are only three games left in the season. That means three games left until the tournament. Who do you think we will play against? In the tournament? Yes. I don't know. Probably the Badgers. They are also doing well this year. Maybe, but they're not as good as us. Dialogue 2 What do you want for Christmas this year, Danny? A puppy. Why do you want a puppy? Because, Mommy, they are nice to play with. Well, I hope you know that it's a big responsibility. Yes, I do. You would have to help take care of it. I know, Mommy. I would help. Well, we'll see what happens. Dialogue 3 I wish it would stop raining. Why is that? So we could go out and play some ball. Yeah, I don't want to stay inside all day either. It doesn't look good, though. You're right. I don't think this rain will let up. Maybe we can rent a movie. Okay. If the rain doesn't stop soon, we should get a movie. Dialogue 4 I could really use some pickles right now. It's three in the morning. I'm not saying you have to get them. What are you saying? I'm just saying I crave them, that's all. I'm pregnant, you know? So, you mean the baby wants pickles, not you. Me, the baby, same thing. Yeah, I suppose it is. Dialogue 5 Anyone up for a drink? Sure, I could use a drink. Me too. I really want a beer. Where do you want to go? I was thinking about going to that new place. The one next to the post office? Yeah, I hear it's pretty cheap. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Sounds good. After you. Substitution drills. One. I hope we win the tournament this year. I hope we win the match this year. I hope we win the game this year. I hope we win the championship this year. 2. We've been practicing hard. We've been working hard. 
We've been making an effort. We've been improving. 3. Who do you think we will play against? Who do you think we will compete against? Who do you think we will go against? Who do you think we will contend against? 4. What do you want for Christmas this year, Danny? What would you like for Christmas this year, Danny? What are you getting for Christmas this year, Danny? What do you expect for Christmas this year, Danny? 5. Well, I hope you know that it's a big responsibility. Well, I hope you know that it's a big challenge. Well, I hope you know that it's a big demand. Well, I hope you know that it's a big burden. 6. You would have to help take care of it. You would have to help raise it. You would have to help look after it. You would have to help care for it. 7. I wish it would stop raining. I hope it would stop raining. I would like for it to stop raining. I want it to stop raining. 8. I don't think this rain will let up. I don't think this rain will ease up. I don't think this rain will stop. I don't think this rain will cease. 9. I could really use some pickles right now. I really want some pickles right now. I would like some pickles right now. I need some pickles right now. 10. I'm not saying you have to get them. I'm not saying you have to retrieve them. I'm not saying you have to fetch them. I'm not saying you have to pick them up. 11. I'm just saying I crave them, that's all. I'm just saying I hunger for them, that's all. I'm just saying I desire them, that's all. I'm just saying I want them, that's all. 12. So, you mean the baby wants pickles? So, you mean the child wants pickles? So, you mean the fetus wants pickles? So, you mean the infant wants pickles? 13. So, we could go out and play some ball. So, we could go out and go for a walk. So, we could go out and go swimming. So, we could go out and have some dinner. 14. Anyone up for a drink? Anyone want a drink? 
Anyone interested in a drink? Anyone ready for a drink? 15. Yeah, I hear it's pretty cheap. Yeah, I hear it's pretty inexpensive. Yeah, I hear it's pretty affordable. Yeah, I hear it's pretty reasonably priced. Monologue Christmas is a very popular holiday in America. Christmas has religious roots, and for many Americans, it is still associated with the birth of Christ. Many other Americans, though, pay little attention to the religious origins of Christmas. Instead, Christmas is often simply a time for gift-giving and visiting family. The atmosphere in American communities is noticeably different during the Christmas season, which begins at the end of November. Buildings are decorated with lights, and many homes contain Christmas trees. Much time is put into picking out gifts for friends and relatives. People normally take this time to go on vacation. It is often the only time in the year that some families come together to visit each other. Lesson 8. Delights and Surprises Basic Patterns Oh, it's wonderful! Really? This is such a surprise! Wow, I'm so happy! Can you believe what our teacher did today? This comes as a surprise. The best thing happened to me today. This is better than expected. How delightful! This is incredible. I can't believe how good this is. This is terrific. That's fantastic. Well, this is a nice surprise. I'm delighted to see you. Dialogue 1 Happy birthday, honey. Oh, wow, Curtis, you got me a kitten. Well, you said you've wanted one, but couldn't make up your mind. So I guess you made it up for me, huh? Yeah, I guess so. So what do you think? Oh, it's wonderful. Is it a boy or a girl? A girl. Well, we have to come up with a name for her, don't we? Any ideas? We'll have to see. But thank you again so much. Well, you're welcome. Happy birthday again, Emily. Dialogue 2 Hey, Will, turn on the television. Why? I'm trying to rest. They're going to announce the winning lottery number. Do you still buy those stupid lottery tickets? Yes! Now turn on the TV for a second. Okay, okay. Wait! Look! That's my number! I bought the ticket! What? Yeah, it's right here! I won! I won! Wow! I take back what I said. How much did you win? Well, $63. That's not much to win. Yeah, but it's something. Dialogue 3 How many more votes are there left to count? I think we're almost done. Are you allowed in the counting room? Why should I not be allowed? Because, silly, you're one of the candidates for class president, remember? 
Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to win. No one will win if you don't let me finish counting. I'm sorry to bother you. Well, Kate, it looks like you're the new class president by four votes. Really? Wow, that vote was so close. Well, you're the winner, it looks like. This is such a surprise. I thought I was going to lose. Wow, I'm so happy. Dialogue 4 Can you believe what our teacher did today? What did she do? She gave a surprise test. So, what's wrong with that? Obviously, a surprise test is bad. Is it bad because you were not prepared? Exactly. Well, that sounds like more your fault than the teacher's fault. What kind of friend are you to say that? I'm just trying to be fair to your teacher. Anyway, it's not like you study every night yourself. True, but if my teacher gave surprise tests, I would study every night. Then, they wouldn't be surprise tests. Maybe you're right. Either way, I guess you should study more. I don't want to talk to you right now. Dialogue 5 I have the x-ray results back. Good. What do they show you? This is interesting. Don't keep me in suspense. Well, the pain in your leg is not from running. No? Well, then what is it? It's an older fracture that didn't quite heal. How is that possible? Have you injured that leg before? Yes, I fell skiing last March. You probably got a small fracture at that time. Running recently just made it worse. That's kind of a surprise. I never thought of that. It's common. Just rest for a few weeks and come back for another exam then. Substitution Drills 1. So, I guess you made it up for me, huh? So, I guess you decided for me, huh? So, I guess you made a decision for me, huh? So, I guess you reached a decision for me, huh? 2. Well, we have to come up for a name for her, don't we? Well, we have to think of a name for her, don't we? Well, we have to pick a name for her, don't we? Well, we have to choose a name for her, don't we? Three. They're going to announce the winning lottery number. They're going to give the winning lottery number. They're going to reveal the winning lottery number. Four. Oh, wow, Curtis, you got me a kitten. Oh, wow, Curtis, you got me a puppy. Oh, wow, Curtis, you got me a dog. Oh, wow, Curtis, you got me a cat. Five. Hey, Will, turn on the television. Hey, Will, turn on the radio. Hey, Will, turn on the computer. Hey, Will, turn on the air conditioner. Six. How many more votes are there left to count? How many more ballots are there left to count? How many more entries are there left to count? How many more tickets are there left to count? 
Seven. Because silly, you're one of the candidates for class president. Because silly, you're one of the contenders for class president. Because silly, you're one of the applicants for class president. Because silly, you're one of the possibilities for class president. Eight. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it is meaningless. Oh, it is unimportant. Oh, it is irrelevant. Nine. No one will win if you don't let me finish counting. No one will win if you don't let me finish figuring. No one will win if you don't let me finish adding. No one will win if you don't let me finish totaling. Ten. She gave a surprise test. She gave a surprise exam. She gave a surprise quiz. She gave a surprise assignment. Eleven. Is it bad because you were not prepared? Is it bad because you were not ready? Is it bad because you were caught off guard? Is it bad because you were not expecting it? Twelve. Well, that sounds like more your fault than the teacher's fault. Well, that sounds like more your responsibility than the teacher's fault. Well, that sounds like more your doing than the teacher's fault. Well, that sounds like more your mistake than the teacher's fault. Thirteen. This is such a surprise. This is such a shock. This is such a revelation. This is such an astonishment. Fourteen. Well, you probably got a small fracture at the time. Well. You probably got a small break at the time. Well, you probably got a small injury at the time. Well, you probably got a small crack at the time. Fifteen. It's an older fracture. That didn't quite heal. It's an older fracture that didn't quite recover. It's an older fracture that didn't quite repair. It's an older fracture that didn't quite get better. Monologue. Kate was excited to win her school's election. Almost every school in America has a student council. This is a small group of students elected by other students as their representatives. They assist the school's teachers in planning student events and represent their classmates in school decisions.
An important benefit of this system is that it introduces students to the democratic process. They get an early look at how voting works and learn the importance of choosing their representatives. Some complain that school elections are just popularity contests, but the same thing is also said about national elections. Lesson 9 Advice and Suggestions Basic Patterns I suggest you start thinking about careers with animals. My advice to you is to enjoy those things. I'll think about it. Can I give you some advice? What do you suggest? Can I give you some advice? I suggest you do what he says. My advice would be to go home. Is that your advice? What would you do in my shoes? I'd recommend that you try to relax. May I make a suggestion? What do you think I should do? Let me give you a bit of advice. What would be your advice? Dialogue 1 Tommy, you've been getting pretty good grades this year. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Have you thought about what you want to do for your future? I guess I'll go to college. Do you have any more specific plans about a career? Not really. What do you like to do? What are your interests? Well, I like animals. Good. I suggest you start thinking about careers with animals. Like what? Perhaps a veterinarian would be an interesting job for you. Maybe you're right. I'll think about it. Okay. Let me know if I can give you any advice in that direction. Dialogue 2 How was the game, son? It was rotten, Dad. We lost. That bad, huh? What happened? Everything you could imagine, and it was partly my fault. Why do you say that? I dropped an easy catch right at the beginning of the game. And that alone lost the game? No, but I made other dumb mistakes, too. Well, can I give you some advice? Sure. Forget about it. Forget about those mistakes. Why? I really messed up. Learn from them, but don't dwell on them. Everyone makes mistakes. Easier said than done. Maybe. But if you dwell on your mistakes, you'll not have the confidence to do better in the future. Dialogue 3 Oh, hi there, Margaret. Hi there, neighbor. I was wondering something. What were you wondering? I wanted to know how you get your lawn to look so good. What do you mean? I mean, you have no weeds and perfect color. How do you do it? Ah, uh, a lot of time and effort is essential. I wouldn't worry about it if I were you. Why is that? Because you're happy. You've got a nice family and a good career. So, why does that matter? My advice to you is to enjoy those things. My life is empty and gray. I have plenty of time to garden. That's too bad. Enjoy your lawn. I'm going to play with my kids. Bye. Dialogue 4 Ernie, what are you doing in the closet? I'm trying to decide what fishing gear to take for our trip. What do you suggest? I suggest you come out of the closet. I meant what fishing gear would you suggest we bring? Any pole will do, but I prefer a thicker one. And bring some colorful bait. Sounds good to me. I've got a pretty thick pole. I know, but this trip isn't really about fishing. It's not? Of course it's not. It's about us spending more time together and enjoying each other's company. Well, that's true. By the way, you did a good job of planning. I like to be on top of things. Have you put everything in the car? Almost. Do you think you have room for my pole? It's long, but I think I can make it fit. Okay, let's go.
Dialogue five. Joyce, can I talk to you for a moment? It's about your test grades. Oh yeah, they're pretty bad. Yes, I know. But you do well in class and on homework. Why are your test scores so bad? I don't know. Maybe I just had some bad luck. I don't think so. Look at this test. You didn't even answer these last six questions. You could at least guess at the answer. I just get so nervous that I can't think straight. Oh, I see. I don't know what to do. Try to relax. Exercise before taking the test to get out some nervous energy. Take deep breaths before you start. That's some good advice. Maybe I'll try it. Substitution drills. One. Tommy, you have been getting pretty good grades this year. Tommy, you have been receiving pretty good grades this year. Tommy, you have been earning pretty good grades this year. Tommy. You have been making pretty good grades this year. Two. What are your interests? What are your hobbies? What are your tastes? What are your pursuits? Three. I suggest you start thinking about careers with animals. I suggest you start looking into careers with animals. I suggest you start considering careers with animals. I suggest you start pondering careers with animals. Four. Perhaps a veterinarian would be an interesting job for you. Perhaps a veterinarian would be a worthwhile job for you. Perhaps a veterinarian would be a fulfilling job for you. Perhaps a veterinarian would be a rewarding job for you. Five. It was rotten, Dad. It was awful, Dad. It was terrible, Dad. It was bad, Dad. Five. I dropped an easy catch right at the beginning of the game. I dropped an easy ball. Right at the beginning of the game, I dropped an easy pass. Right at the beginning of the game, I dropped an easy toss. Right at the beginning of the game. Seven. Well, can I give you some advice? Well, can I give you some thoughts? Well, can I give you some insights? Well, can I give you some suggestions? Eight. Learn from them, but don't dwell on them. Learn from them, but don't harp on them. Learn from them, but don't focus on them. Learn from them, but don't get stuck on them. Nine. I was wondering something. I was interested in something. I was curious about something. I was wanting to know something. Ten. I wanted to know. How you get your lawn to look so good? I wanted to know how you get your yard to look so good. 
I wanted to know how you get your grass to look so good. I wanted to know how you get your garden to look so good. 11. Have you put everything in the car? Have you put everything in the van? Have you put everything in the truck? Have you put everything in the bus? 12. A lot of time and effort is essential. A lot of time and effort is mandatory. A lot of time and effort is required. A lot of time and effort is necessary. 13. I suggest you come out of the closet. I suggest you come out of the cupboard. I suggest you come out of the attic. I suggest you come out of the bedroom. 14. I like to be on top of things. I like to be in charge. I like to be in control. I like to be in command. 15. I just get so nervous that I can't think straight. I just get so worried that I can't think straight. I just get so anxious that I can't think straight. I just get so stressed that I can't think straight. Monologue Traditionally, lawns or yards are an important part of American suburban life. At the very least, a homeowner has to regularly cut his grass. To not do so would cause his neighbors to complain. It's quite common for children to earn a few dollars doing this job for people. It's also quite important for residents to water their grass frequently. Many homeowners do much more than just water and cut their grass. Lawn care is a serious hobby for some people. There are special chemicals to help grass grow and kill weeds. Competitions are even held sometimes for the best lawn in a neighborhood. The lawn is a traditional symbol of life in the suburbs. Lesson 10. Wishes and Congratulations. Basic Patterns. Congratulations. I'm sure you deserve it. I'm sure you'll do fine. Good luck. I wish you the best. That's great. Outstanding. Allow me to congratulate you. I wish you well. You have my best wishes. Good job. Please accept my warmest congratulations. I must congratulate you. I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you good luck. Dialogue 1 Congratulations, honey. We're all very proud of you. Oh, Mom, stop it. You're embarrassing me. It's my job. I'm a mother. And now you're a college graduate. It's hard to believe. Four years of college and now I'm done. Yes, you seem to have grown up so fast. I owe a lot to you. You've been there for me all the way. Well, I guess my efforts have paid off now. I did put in a little of my own effort too, you know. 
Yes, I know. I'll say it again. Congratulations, Becky. Dialogue 2 It's been quite an experience having you in class, Jason. I can say the same to you, Mr. Tucker, and I've enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit here. This has been one of my best classes in law school. I'm glad to hear it. I've heard you have a good job waiting for you. Yes, I've just been offered a job by a good law firm in Philadelphia. Well, congratulations. I'm sure you deserve it. I hope so, but I owe a lot to you. Nonsense. You got yourself that job. I'm sure you'll do fine. Dialogue 3 Oh, hey there, Amy. I heard you just got a promotion. Yeah, I'm the new supervisor for sales. That's great. Congratulations. Well, it's going to be a lot more responsibility. And more money. Maybe a little more. I guess that means you're kind of my boss. Don't go thinking that. I'm still the same old Amy. I'm not even sure why I got the promotion. Oh, don't be so humble. You deserve the promotion, boss. Thanks, but don't call me boss. Anyway, I've got to get back to work. Dialogue 4 I guess we've packed everything. I think that's the last box. Yes, I think so. Thanks for helping me move out. Don't mention it. And good luck in Denver. Oh, thanks. I'll need some luck. It's going to be a big change of pace. I'll say, from small town to big city. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little jealous. You should come, too. I'm sure you could get a job at one of the museums with your background. No, I like it out here. But I wish you the best. Stay in touch. Will do. Take it easy. Dialogue 5 It's raining outside. It's supposed to let up by tomorrow. Don't be so nervous. How can I not be so nervous? I'm getting married tomorrow. So? Lacey's family is taking care of all the planning. Yeah, so what? If anything goes wrong, it's not your fault. So relax. That's stupid, Paul. Anyway, that's not why I'm nervous. This is a big step. A huge step. No longer single, huh? Together forever and ever. Pretty scary, right? Seriously, it's the best thing you've ever done. I envy you, buddy. Really? You do? Yeah, a little. Look, you're going to be happy. I wish you two the best in life. I really do. Thanks, Paul. Thanks a lot. Substitution Drills 1. Four years of college, and now I'm done. Four years of college, and now it's finished. Four years of college, and now it's over. Four years of college, and now it's at an end. 2. Yes, you seem to have grown up so fast. Yes, you seem to have matured so fast. Yes, you seem to have aged so fast. Yes, you seem to have gotten older so fast. 3. I did put in a little of my own effort too, you know. I did give a little of my own effort too, you know. I did contribute a little of my own effort, too, you know. I did chip in a little of my own effort, too, you know. 4. I've just been offered a job by a good law firm in Philadelphia. I've just been offered a position by a good law firm in Philadelphia. I've just been offered a contract by a good law firm in Philadelphia. I've just been offered a post by a good law firm in Philadelphia. 5. 
This has been one of my best classes in law school. This has been one of my worst classes in law school. This has been one of my favorite classes in law school. This has been one of my most interesting classes in law school. 6. I heard you just got a promotion. I heard you just got a demotion. I heard you just got an advancement. I heard you just got a transfer. 7. Yeah, I'm the new supervisor for sales. Yeah, I'm the new supervisor for marketing. Yeah, I'm the new supervisor for accounting. Yeah, I'm the new supervisor for research. 8. You deserve the promotion. You earned the promotion. You warrant the promotion. You merit the promotion. 9. I think that's the last box. I think that's the last container. I think that's the last crate. I think that's the last carton. 10. I'm sure you could get a job at one of the museums with your background. I'm sure you could get a job at one of the museums with your experience. I'm sure you could get a job at one of the museums with your training. I'm sure you could get a job at one of the museums with your education. 11. It's going to be a big change of pace. It's going to be a big change of tempo. It's going to be a big change of scenery. It's going to be a big change of life. 12. It's supposed to let up by tomorrow. It's supposed to stop by tomorrow. It's supposed to cease by tomorrow. It's supposed to ease off by tomorrow. 13. If anything goes wrong, it's not your fault. If anything goes wrong, it's not your concern. If anything goes wrong, it's not your worry. If anything goes wrong, it's not your problem. 14. No longer single, huh? No longer unmarried, huh? No longer unattached, huh? No longer alone, huh? 15. I wish you two the best in life. I wish you two a happy life. I wish you two happiness. I wish you two many happy years. Monologue Ian is moving from a small town to a large city, Denver, 
Denver is a city in the West, in the Rocky Mountains. It's quite common for Americans to relocate, especially as young adults. This may be for a new job, but often people move simply to start a new life. It can be as easy as throwing some possessions in a car and driving away, or even just buying a bus ticket. Sometimes these changes are permanent, and a person may put down roots in a new area. Other times they may simply stay for just a few years. It is even quite common to work for just a few months at a temporary job before returning home or going somewhere else. As a result, many Americans have experience in diverse parts of the country or even the world and have worked different kinds of jobs. Lesson 11 Complaints Basic Patterns I just want to get this mess straightened out. I hate this weather. It sucked. I have had it up to here with this guy. I've got a real problem with one of my coworkers. This is awful. I can't stand this. I'm going to complain about this. I'm fed up with your behavior. I've had it up to here with you. This is intolerable. I will not accept this situation. I will not stand for this. I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. I want to make a complaint. Dialogue 1 Thank you for calling Bell Atlantic Telephone Company. How may I help you? Yeah, I've got a real problem here. My last phone bill was for $1,493. Is this amount incorrect? You bet it's incorrect. It says here that I made nine calls to Shanghai. And you did not make those calls? I repair motorboats. Why would I call Japan? Shanghai is in China, sir, not Japan. Whatever. I don't care. I just want to get this mess straightened out. Wait just one moment and I'll transfer you to a manager. Okay, good. Dialogue 2 I hate this weather. I think it's kind of nice. I like the rain. I don't. It's depressing and it's wet. Of course it's wet. It's rain. Would you prefer dry rain? Very funny. Just enjoy it. At least we're not stuck in it outside. Well, I wanted to go out jogging today. Go ahead. It's just a little rain. It won't hurt you. Have you ever heard of the flu? I'll get sick. You're always complaining. There's a lot to complain about. I think that's pretty sad. I try to be happy when I can. Dialogue 3 Cole, have you finished your homework? Yes, Dad. Can I go out now? What do you mean? You're grounded for this week. Yeah, and it sucks. Keep using language like that and you'll be grounded for two weeks. I hate not being able to go play basketball. Maybe you'll think about that next time you want to get into a fight at school. I told you the other kid started it. He called me names. You could have ignored him. We've already had this conversation. This isn't fair. Life's not fair. Is there anything else you want to say? No, I'm going back to my room. Dialogue 4 Here, have a beer. How was work? It sucked. The new boss is a real tyrant. Oh yeah? How come? Don't even get me started on that subject. 
Let's just say I have had it up to here with this guy. That bad, huh? You'd better believe it. He has me doing so many useless tasks. I feel bad for you. I'm not getting paid enough to take this abuse. Is anything going good? <laughs> not today. Not until I have another beer or two, anyways. I hear that. Just hand me another one, buddy, and I'll be a little better. Dialogue five. Who's at the door? Baltimore Police Department, sir. Can I come in? Oh yes, officer. Of course. Is something wrong? We received a complaint from some of your neighbors. I can't imagine why. Were you mowing your front lawn naked this morning, sir? Is it a crime to cut my grass? It is if you're doing it naked. It's very hot out today. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Can I put some clothes on first? Please do. Dialogue six. Luke, come into my office. What can I do for you? Well, sir, I've got a real problem with one of my coworkers. If my employees are having problems, I want to know about it. Good. It's Elmer, sir. He interferes with my work. I don't like to hear that. What does he do? He keeps taking my paper clips. What? Did I hear you correctly? He goes to my desk when I'm not around and steals my paper clips, especially the red ones. Especially the red ones? Yes, sir. They're my favorite. I can't work without them. Luke, that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Get out of my office. But, sir, I can't work like this. This isn't elementary school. Now go back to work. Yes, sir. But this isn't fair. Whatever. Just get out, Luke. Substitution drills. One. My last phone bill was for one thousand four hundred and ninety-three dollars. My last electric bill was for one thousand four hundred and ninety-three dollars. My last gas bill was for one thousand four hundred and ninety-three dollars. My last water bill was for one thousand four hundred and ninety-three dollars. Two. I just want to get this mess straightened out. I just want to get this mess fixed. I just want to get this mess cleared up. I just want to get this mess resolved. Three. It's depressing and it's wet. It's dreary and it's wet. It's dismal and it's wet. It's gloomy and it's wet. Four. You're always complaining. You're always whining. You're always grumbling. You're always finding something wrong. Five. Cole, have you finished your homework? Cole, have you finished your studying? Cole, have you finished your lessons? Cole, have you finished your schoolwork? Six. You're grounded for this week. You're restricted for this week. You're punished for this week. You're without privileges for this week. Seven. Maybe you'll think about that next time you want to get into a fight at school. Maybe you'll think about that. Next time you want to get into a fist fight at school, maybe you'll think about that. Next time you want to get into an argument at school, maybe you'll think about that. Next time you want to get into a confrontation at school. Eight. He called me names. 
He insulted me. He made fun of me. He ridiculed me. 9. This isn't fair. This isn't right. This isn't just. This isn't acceptable. 10. He has me doing so many useless tasks. He has me doing so many futile tasks. He has me doing so many pointless tasks. He has me doing so many worthless tasks. 11. Let's just say that I have had it up to here with this guy. Let's just say that I can't tolerate this guy. Let's just say that I am fed up with this guy. Let's just say that I am tired of this guy. 12. I'm not getting paid enough to take this abuse. I'm not getting paid enough to put up with this abuse. I'm not getting paid enough to tolerate this abuse. I'm not getting paid enough to deal with this abuse. 13. Were you mowing your front lawn naked this morning, sir? Were you mowing your front lawn nude? This morning, sir? Were you mowing your front lawn undressed this morning, sir? Were you mowing your front lawn in your birthday suit this morning, sir? 14. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. I'm going to have to arrest you. I'm going to have to take you into custody. I'm going to have to detain you. 15. Luke, that is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Luke, that is the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Luke, that is the most ridiculous. Ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Luke, that is the worst thing I have ever heard. Monologue Brent was grounded for fighting in school. Grounding is a common punishment for American children. It comes from the term for keeping airplanes on the ground. Like an airplane which cannot fly, a child who is grounded is not allowed to go out and play. Grounding also can include the restriction of other privileges, such as being able to drive for teenagers. The word Brent used, which his father did not like, is the most common American word for a complaint. To say something sucks is a crude but universal term to express. That something is not good. It is not an expression which students of English should use, but is so common that a student should be able to understand what it means. Lesson 12 Invitations Basic Patterns Let's get out of here. Do you want to come? Thanks for the invitation. I was going to invite you in for some coffee. I'd like to invite you to a match. Do you want to get some lunch? Why don't you come over later? Are you free tonight? What are you doing later? Let's meet later. Come see me sometime. Give me a call the next time you're in town. 
I'd like to see you again. Would you like to get dinner sometime? When can I see you again? Dialogue 1. Hey, Erica, what are you doing? I just got out of class, and I was on my way to the library. What are you doing tomorrow night? I don't know. I haven't made any plans yet. Why? There's a party at Matt's apartment. I don't even really know him very well. It doesn't matter. Even if it did, you can come since you're my friend. Okay, I think I will. Tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. Come by my dorm room about 8. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Dialogue 2 I'm tired of studying. Me too. Let's get out of here. By the way, Steve and I are going hiking this weekend. Do you want to come? When? Where are you going? Saturday. We're going up to Marion State Park. It's going to be cold. Don't be so sensitive. Do you want to go or not? Sure. Do I need to bring anything special? Just warm clothes and some good boots. No problem there. Good. I'll give you a call tomorrow with specific details. Thanks for the invitation. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Dialogue 3 Are you busy? Not really. I'm just looking over these account figures. Did you get this dinner invitation from the company? Yeah, I guess you did too. It looks like everyone in this office is going out to the new seafood restaurant. Are you going? I don't know. It's a Friday night. That's true. I don't know if I want to spend a Friday night with my co-workers. It'll look bad if we don't go. Maybe we should just go and only stay for a short while. Who knows how long that could be. Let's just tell the boss that we've already made plans. Are you sure you want to turn down a company invitation? Do you want to spend your Friday night with these people? Good point. Dialogue 4 I had a good time tonight. Me too. Dinner was better than I expected. Yeah, that was a nice restaurant. Do you want to go out again sometime? Yes, that would be nice. I'd like that. I would too. Look, it's not that late. Do you have to get up early? No, not really. Why? Well, I was going to invite you in for some coffee. Coffee? That sounds nice. Good. Come in. I'll make us a pot of coffee. Thank you. That would be nice. Dialogue 5 Hey, Oliver. I heard that you were a pretty good ping-pong player. I'm okay. Why do you ask? I wanted someone to play against. Someone who would be kind of a challenge. Then I think you've come to the right place. Glad to hear it. I'd like to invite you to a match. Are you free Saturday afternoon? I think so. What time? Uh, about 2 o'clock. And where? The school gym, of course. Okay. I accept your invitation. Good. I'll see you then. Substitution Drills 1. I just got out of class, and I was on my way to the library. I just got out of class, and I was heading to the library. I just got out of class, and I was going to the library. I just got out of class, and I was walking to the library. 2. There's a party at Matt's apartment. There's a get-together at Matt's apartment. There's a function at Matt's apartment. There's a meeting at Matt's apartment. 3. Come by my dorm room about 8. Come by my dorm room about 8 o'clock. Come by my dorm room about 8 p.m. Come by my dorm room about 8 in the evening. 4. I'm tired of studying. I'm tired of working. I'm tired of reading. I'm tired of reviewing. 
Five. Steve and I are going hiking this weekend. Steve and I are going walking this weekend. Steve and I are going sailing this weekend. Steve and I are going fishing this weekend. Six. Good. I'll give you a call tomorrow with specific details. Good. I'll give you a ring tomorrow with specific details. Good. I'll telephone you tomorrow with specific details. Good. I'll call you tomorrow with specific details. Seven. Did you get this dinner invitation from the company? Did you get this letter from the company? Did you get this movie ticket from the company? Did you get this announcement from the company? Eight. It looks like everyone in this office is going out to the new seafood restaurant. It looks like everyone in this office is going out to the new theater. It looks like everyone in this office is going out to the new sports stadium. It looks like everyone in this office is going out to the new art gallery. Nine. Are you sure you want to turn down a company invitation? Are you sure you want to reject a company invitation? Are you sure you want to refuse a company invitation? Are you sure you want to decline a company invitation? Ten. Do you have to get up early? Do you have to arise early? Do you have to wake up early? Do you have to get out of bed early? Eleven. Well, I was going to invite you in for some coffee. Well, I was going to ask you in for some coffee. Well, I was going to welcome you in for some coffee. Well, I was going to draw you in for some coffee. Twelve. Dinner was better than I expected. Dinner was better than I anticipated. Dinner was better than I hoped for. Dinner was better than I predicted. Thirteen. I heard that you were a pretty good ping pong player. I heard that you were a pretty good tennis player. I heard that you were a pretty good baseball player. I heard that you were a pretty good basketball player. Fourteen. It's going to be cold. It's going to be frigid. It's going to be cool. It's going to be chilly. Fifteen. Are you free Saturday afternoon? Are you available Saturday afternoon? Are you around Saturday afternoon? Are you busy Saturday afternoon? Monologue. Hiking and camping are very popular pastimes in America, and they are becoming even more popular. This is made easier because there are numbers of state and national parks in every state in America. These are areas managed by either the state or national government, 
for the enjoyment of the people. Some of the largest, such as Yellowstone and the Grand Canyon, are thousands of square kilometers. Normally, they have well-maintained hiking trails and campgrounds. Other outdoor activities are also increasingly popular. Many Americans enjoy hunting, although this is restricted or not allowed in most parks. Others enjoy paddling rafts or canoes, two kinds of small boats, on America's many rivers. Some Americans even enjoy rock climbing, climbing straight up rock cliffs using only their hands and feet. Lesson 13. Requests. Basic patterns. I keep asking her to turn down her music. It's a small request. She has to turn it down. I'm just requesting that you keep him in your yard. I need to borrow your computer. Can I see that book? Could you move over a little bit? You're requested to be in court next week. My request for a raise was rejected. Can I make one small request? That's a pretty big request. Why don't you just request some help at work? This is one of the most requested songs on the radio. Could you give me a hand with this box? Would you mind being a little bit quieter? Dialogue 1 Bobby, have you finished cleaning up your room? No, Mom. Have you even started? It doesn't look like it. I'll clean it, I promise. Young man, this place is a mess. I know, I know. I make a simple request and look what I get. Okay, Mom, I'll clean it up. When? When my favorite television show is over. Wrong answer, Bobby. But, Mom... Get up there and clean, now. Okay, I'm going. Dialogue 2 Janice, we've got to talk. It's a small request. What about? It's your roommate, Sharon. And? I keep asking her to turn down her music. I didn't know it was that loud. It's not until you leave. Then she turns it up. Really? I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, she does. And it's often when I'm trying to study. It comes right through my wall. I'll talk to her. Good. She has to turn it down. And she ignores me whenever I ask. Okay. I'll get her to stop. Thanks. I appreciate it. Dialogue 3 Hey, Adam. What? It's your dog. He keeps coming into my yard and tearing it up. How do you know? There are lots of dogs in this neighborhood. I've seen him just this morning. Prove it. Look, don't make this difficult. I'm just requesting that you keep him in your yard. I do. He gets under the fence sometimes. Well, that's not my problem. Are you saying it's my problem? Yes, it's your dog. What are you going to do about it? If I have to, I'll call the police. I've even got pictures of your dog coming over here. Okay, if you're so upset about it, I'll see what I can do. Dialogue 4 How's it going, Kathy? You look good today. What do you want, Ben? Why do you think I want something? Because you're being nice to me. That means you want something from me. Well, now that you mention it, I did need to borrow your computer. Why? I've got to finish my essay tonight, and my computer is broken. So you want to come over and break my computer? No, I just need it for an hour. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> Why should I say yes? Because you're a good person. No, I'm not, but you can use it. For one hour. That's it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Don't make me regret it. One hour. That's it. One hour. I understand. I'll see you tonight.
Dialogue 5. Oh, this is bad. What? Look what I got in the mail. It says, you are hereby requested to appear in traffic court on Tuesday, 8 a.m. It's because I didn't pay that speeding ticket from last month. What? Why not? I don't know. I just forgot. Is it too late to pay? I can pay in court now, but it will cost more. Maybe you should drive slower. Very funny. Maybe you should shut up. Sorry. Don't be so sensitive. This is going to cost me $200. Well, don't look at me. I'm broke. I guess I'm going to court on Tuesday. I guess so. Make sure you drive slow on the way there. Substitution drills. 1. Bobby, have you finished cleaning up your room? Bobby, have you finished straightening up your room? Bobby, have you finished tidying up your room? Bobby, have you finished dusting your room? 2. Young man, this place is a mess. Young man, this place is a dump. Young man, this place is a disaster. Young man, this place is a shambles. 3. I make a simple request and look what I get. I make a simple demand and look what I get. I make a simple requirement and look what I get. I make a simple appeal and look what I get. 4. I keep asking her to turn down her music. I keep asking her to turn off her music. I keep asking her to soften her music. I keep asking her to quiet down her music. 5. I didn't know it was that loud. I didn't know it was that noisy. I didn't know it was that high. I didn't know it was that annoying. 6. And she ignores me whenever I ask. And she doesn't listen to me whenever I ask. And she pays no attention to me whenever I ask. And she disregards me whenever I ask. 7. He keeps coming into my yard and tearing it up. He keeps coming into my yard and destroying it. He keeps coming into my yard and ruining it. He keeps coming into my yard and messing it up. 8. I'm just requesting that you keep him in your yard. I'm just requesting that you confine him in your yard. I'm just requesting that you restrict him in your yard. I'm just requesting that you pen him in your yard. 9. Well, that's not my problem. Well, that's not my fault. Well, that's not my concern. Well, that's not my responsibility. 10. I've even got pictures of your dog coming over here. I've even got pictures of your dog trespassing. I've even got pictures of your dog entering my property. I've even got pictures of your dog sneaking in. 11. You look good today. 
You look nice today. You look wonderful today. You look incredible today. 12. I've got to finish my essay tonight, and my computer has broken. I've got to finish my report tonight, and my computer has broken. I've got to finish my paper tonight, and my computer has broken. I've got to finish my project tonight, and my computer has broken. 13. It's because I didn't pay that speeding ticket from last month. It's because I didn't pay that speeding fine from last month. It's because I didn't pay that speeding citation from last month. It's because I didn't pay that speeding violation from last month. 14. Maybe you should drive slower. Maybe you should drive more slowly. Maybe you should drive less fast. Maybe you should drive not as fast. 15. Well, don't look at me, I'm broke. Well, don't look at me, I'm poor. Well, Don't look at me, I'm without money. Well, don't look at me, I'm penniless. Monologue Americans occasionally get into trouble while driving. One of the most common problems is driving too fast. To prevent this, state governments Put police on the highways. The police use laser devices to determine the speed of other cars. If another vehicle is driving too fast, then it can be stopped by the police. A car may also be pulled over if the driver is driving unsafely or some part of the car is not safe. In these cases, the person must pay a fine, either by mail. Or by going to court. Another common problem is driving after drinking too much alcohol. The person may be driving a stolen car or may be wanted for another crime. Sometimes the police may see something illegal in the car, although they cannot search it without the driver's permission. In these more serious cases, the person is quickly arrested. The state police also help drivers when they are having some problem or when they have been injured in an accident. Lesson 14 Plans and Decisions Basic Patterns I'll keep thinking about it. We may just have to share my car for a while. We need to start a college fund for Tyler. Do you know what you're doing after graduation? I haven't made up my mind yet. I'll let you know what I decide. I have to make a difficult choice. Decide quickly. I hadn't anticipated that. What do you plan to do about this mess? The disaster was a result of poor planning. I plan to take the next train out of here. I intend to buy a new house. I had only the best intentions. Everything is going according to plan. Dialogue one. What are you reading, honey? It's something sent by the University of Ohio, Dad. 
I thought you were thinking about going to Florida State University. I was, but this looks interesting. Why is that? It's hard to say. I think I just like the feel of Ohio better. Is that all? No other difference? Well, I think Ohio has a better biology department than Florida. Is that what you want to study? I think so, but I may change my mind after four years. Just make sure you decide on something you enjoy. That's the most important thing. That's also the most difficult thing. I'll keep thinking about it. Dialogue 2. Today was just awful. Why? What happened? I was two hours late for work. That stupid car broke down again. Again? We just had it serviced last month. I think we need to give up and admit that the car has died. Yeah, I guess you're right. Do you think we can afford another? We may just have to share my car for a while. Yes, but that's awfully inconvenient. I agree, but what can we do? My friend's father owns a car dealership. Maybe he can help us. Maybe, but we can't afford too much right now. Dialogue 3. Do you know what we need to do? What? We need to start a college fund for Tyler. But he's not yet four years old. He won't be in college for another 14 years. Yes, but it's never too early to start saving. Do you really think so? I just read an article about how expensive college is already. It's only going to get more expensive. I have heard that some families start very early saving for college. I think we should as well. If you want, I'll call an accountant tomorrow. Okay, give him a call and see what he says. Dialogue 4. Hey, Sean. Do you know what you're doing after graduation? No idea. What about you? Actually, I've been considering a job in China. Really? Doing what? Teaching English. Are you going to take the job? I'll probably take it. It's a big change. I don't know anything about the place. I think I'll like it. How bad could it be? It's probably a good opportunity. And you won't have a better time later in life. That's probably true. I think it could be interesting. Anyway, it sounds better than my plans. Good luck. Dialogue 5. I'm thinking about quitting my job. Well, this is a sudden decision. Actually, I've been sort of thinking about it for a little while. You could have told me earlier. I'm telling you now. Anyway, I haven't made up my mind yet. Why do you want to quit? I'm just not happy there. I don't think I have much of a future with my company. What do you think you want to do? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Well, you probably should think about it before you do anything too drastic. Substitution Drills 1. I thought you were thinking about going to Florida State University. I thought you were planning to go to Florida State University. I thought you were wanting to go to Florida State University. I thought you were intending to go to Florida State University. 2. Just make sure you decide on something you enjoy. Just make sure you choose something you enjoy. Just make sure you pick something you enjoy. Just make sure you select something you enjoy. 3. I think I just like the feel of Ohio better. I think I just like the impression of Ohio better. I think I just like the idea of Ohio better. I think I just like the atmosphere of Ohio better. 4. That stupid car broke down again. That stupid car fell apart again.
That stupid car stopped working again. That stupid car died again. Five. We just had it serviced last month. We just had it repaired last month. We just had it fixed last month. We just had it maintained last month. Six. Yes, but that's awfully inconvenient. Yes, but that's awfully difficult. Yes, but that's awfully impractical. Yes, but that's awfully awkward. Seven. We need to start a college fund for Tyler. We need to start a college savings for Tyler. We need to start a college account for Tyler. We need to start a college plan for Tyler. Eight. But he's not yet four years old. But he's not even four years old. But he's not quite four years old. But he's almost four years old. Nine. I just read an article about how expensive college is already. I just read a report about how expensive college is already. I just read a book. About how expensive college is already. I just read a piece about how expensive college is already. Ten. Hey, Sean, do you know what you're doing after graduation? Hey, Sean, do you know what you're doing after finishing school? Hey, Sean, do you know what you're doing after college? Hey, Sean. Do you know what you're doing after school is over? Eleven. Actually, I've been considering a job in China. Actually, I've been looking into a job in China. Actually, I've been thinking about a job in China. Actually. I've been planning on a job in China. Twelve. I don't know anything about the place. I don't know anything about the nation. I don't know anything about the country. I don't know anything about the area. Thirteen. I'm thinking about quitting my job. I'm thinking about leaving my job. I'm thinking about terminating my job. I'm thinking about ending my job. Fourteen. Well, this is a sudden decision. Well, this is a sudden plan. Well, this is a sudden choice. Well, this is a sudden move. Fifteen. Well, you probably should think about it before you do anything too drastic. Well, you probably should think about it before you do anything too sudden. Well, you probably should think about it before you do anything too rash. Well, you probably should think about it before you do anything too hasty. Monologue. One of the biggest challenges for many American parents is paying. For their child's college education, over the past two decades, college costs have risen greatly.
only the wealthier families can afford to pay for college directly from their income. Most other families have to pay indirectly. Many students have some of their education, and a few have all, paid for by scholarships, money they receive and do not need to pay back. This can come from many sources. More commonly, students and their families have to take out a variety of loans, which can take years to pay back. The problem is that the best schools are not affordable for poor students unless they receive a scholarship for some exceptional ability. This can be a problem later in life for getting the best jobs. Lesson 15. Certainty and Uncertainty Basic Patterns To be honest, I'm not certain. Maybe. I couldn't say for sure. I couldn't say for definite. I couldn't say absolutely. I'm positive that he did it. I'm certain of it. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I can't be certain of what time I left the office. I've no idea where my shoes are. I'm not certain if he's telling the truth. Are you certain this is what you want to do? I swear this is the truth. I have no doubt about how I feel. Absolutely. Dialogue 1 Did you hear about Jerry? Yeah, he's supposed to be real sick. That's what I heard, too. Do you know why he's sick? No, to be honest, I'm not certain. I thought it was just an ordinary flu. That's probably it, but it seems to be a little worse than that. Maybe. I think the doctor isn't sure. Did the doctor even have a guess? He said it could be an infection. Well, that's not very helpful. He could be more specific. I know, especially since we work with Jerry. Yeah, I'd hate to catch what he has. Me too. I wish we could know for sure. Dialogue 2 Do you have any idea where we are right now? I couldn't say for sure. What would you guess? Well, we turned off of Houston Avenue about five minutes ago. That sounds right. Yes, I think that's true. Okay, and I think we headed south, but I'm not positive about that. No, we turned left about a minute ago, so we're no longer pointing south. You're right. We must be headed east again. And we've been driving about a minute east already. So we're somewhere near the harbor. I wish we knew for certain where the highway was. No way to tell. I think we should keep going east. If you're confident that this is east, okay, we'll go this way. Well, I can't be certain, but let's give this direction a try. At this point, what harm could it do? <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Dialogue 3 Where are you going? I'm going to Mr. Hampton's office. What for? Well, if you must know, I'm turning in a late assignment. The only reason I ask is I'm not certain he's there right now. Why not? I thought I saw him leave school about 30 minutes ago. That's awful. What can I do now? Can you turn it in tomorrow? I don't think so. I'm not sure, but I'd rather not wait. Maybe you could just slip it under his door. That's a good idea. I hope that is acceptable to Mr. Hampton. I'm sure he'll accept it, even if it is late. Thanks for the idea. I'll go over there now. Okay. Good luck. Dialogue 4 Did you see the newspaper today? They're starting the Smith murder trial. That's what I heard. Do you think he did it? I'm positive that he did it. How can you be so sure? He confessed to the police. He says that they forced him to confess. Oh, come on. How would they force him to confess? I'm sure they have ways. 
Besides, his lawyer wasn't informed, so the confession doesn't count. Well, they also found his fingerprints at the scene. That makes sense. He says he found the body. I don't believe him. I'm not so sure. What motive did he have? How should I know? He's crazy. Oh, that's not fair. Do you think the police made a mistake? Could you do a better job? Maybe not, but the police make mistakes all the time. Well, I think he did it. I'm certain of it. With that kind of logic, it's a good thing you're not on the jury. I'm certain of that much. Dialogue 5. Dear, did you call the plumber yet? No, I told you I'll take care of the sink myself. Oh, please don't try that again. What? Don't you have any confidence in my abilities? No, I don't. Call the plumber. Why do you say that? Remember the washing machine? You didn't do a very good job with that. Yes, but I learned. I'm certain I can fix the sink. Just give me a chance. Not this time. We can afford a plumber. Call him. Okay, fine. I'll call a plumber. Substitution Drills 1. Do you know why he is sick? Do you know why he is ill? Do you know why he is not well? Do you know why he is unhealthy? 2. I think the doctor isn't sure. I think the doctor doesn't know. I think the doctor can't say. I think the doctor isn't certain. 3. Did the doctor even have a guess? Did the doctor even have a theory? Did the doctor even have an idea? Did the doctor even have a clue? 4. I couldn't say for sure. I couldn't say for certain. I couldn't say for definite. I couldn't say absolutely. 5. Do you have any idea where we are right now? Do you have any idea where we are at this time? Do you have any idea where we are at this moment? Do you have any idea where we are currently? 6. I wish we knew for certain where the highway was. I wish we knew for certain where the road was. I wish we knew for certain where the street was. I wish we knew for certain where the interstate was. 7. Well, if you must know, I'm turning in a late assignment. Well, if you must know, I'm handing in a late assignment. Well, if you must know, I'm giving a late assignment. Well, if you must know, I'm finishing a late assignment. 8. Can you turn it in tomorrow? Can you turn it in next week? Can you turn it in later? Can you turn it in now? 9. I hope that is acceptable to Mr. Hampton. I hope that is okay with Mr. Hampton. I hope that is all right with Mr. Hampton. I hope that is fine with Mr. Hampton. 10. Did you see the newspaper today? Did you hear the radio today? Did you see the news today? Did you see the TV today? 11. He says that they forced him to confess. 
He says that they made him confess. He says that they compelled him to confess. He says that they induced him to confess. Twelve. What motive did he have? What reason did he have? What cause did he have? What incentive did he have? Thirteen. No, I told you I'll take care of the sink myself. No, I told you I'll fix the sink myself. No, I told you I'll repair the sink myself. No, I told you I'll see to the sink myself. Fourteen. Don't you have any confidence in my abilities? Don't you have any faith in my abilities? Don't you have any trust in my abilities? Don't you have any belief in my abilities? Fifteen. He's crazy. He's mad. He's insane. He's mentally ill. Monologue. Pam was glad that Olivia was not on a jury. Juries decide if a person is guilty or innocent of a crime in most serious trials in America. This is a tradition dating back to medieval England. Today, a jury is a group of twelve people selected from all walks of life. They are not experts on the law. The experts are the lawyers. One for the accused and one for the government, who must convince the jury of their side. Many Americans try to avoid jury duty for that reason. It often means that they are isolated from their families and have to miss work. On the other hand, some particularly exciting or famous trials can be very interesting for those on the jury. A famous murder trial would be an interesting distraction. From ordinary life.